Hello guys, so this is research methods for AQA Unit 4 um, Psychology and this section begins with the major features of science. So, one of the key main features of science is replicability. So if the same research is carried out at another time and the same or similar results are produced, then your piece of research or your study is replicable. So to obtain replicability, researchers must record their methodology carefully, such as to operationalize the IV and DV. Unrepeatable results implies there are many flaws and there is a lack of control within the method used. So guys, the next feature of um, science is objectivity. So this means that the findings should not be influenced by the person who designed the study, carried it out, analysed the results or drew conclusions. So to make your data um, collection more objective, you need to remove the human element. For example, to operationalise variables, to put in place standardised instructions and also bind procedures. This is because the more objective your experiment or research study is, the more confidence people have in your study. So, these here help to ensure that your findings are caused by your variables being investigated and not the result of investigative effects or demand characteristics. So guys, the next part of um, the major features of science is the scientific method here. So the scientific method includes um, theory construction. And theory construction is a collection of general principles that explain observations and facts. So theories are constructed by hypothesis testing, which is the development and retesting. So, for hypothesis testing, you start off with a hypothesis, and this must be testable. For an example, I got this from a past paper, um, your hypothesis might be there is a relationship between happiness scores on a questionnaire and intelligence score. So, your hypothesis can either be non-directional and or directional, and obviously it'll have to be operationalised for it to be testable. And then the second part to theory construction is to test the hypothesis. So an appropriate method of investigation should be chosen, which will allow you to test your hypothesis. After testing your hypothesis, if your results do not support the hypothesis, you go back to the, re to the drawing board and rethink your hypothesis again. This is so that you can develop on your hypothesis so that you can do the theory testing again. So if your, hyp if your results do support the hypothesis, then you develop your theory from this. So the findings of carefully constructed research that support the hypothesis allows you to begin to form a theory or modify an existing theory. So in the majority of cases, a theory does not depend on one piece of result. It is the end result of a range of work, usually from a member, from a number of different researchers. Um, once a theory is developed, it continues to be tested. Um, I'm just going to throw an idea out there um, or an example out there. For example, I don't know if many of you have seen um, the theory of everything and that is based on Stephen Hawking's life story. Um, at one point, he proves a theory. Um, he, he constructs a theory, actually, and he disproves it. So it's sort of like a ongoing circle with your hypothesis. So the um, final major feature of science is the use of empirical methods. So in psychology, an empirical method is one which permits us to observe or measure some aspect of behaviour and to use our findings either to develop existing theories or to introduce new ones. This is central to our understanding of science. So empirical evidence can be gained through direct observation or the use of experiments. 
rather than by reasoned argument or unfounded beliefs. This is because unfounded beliefs are not um, based on facts. So empirical methods in psychology allows us to develop hypotheses which we can go out and test. And this allows us to engage in deductive reasoning. So by using empirical methods in, sci in psychology, we can develop our theories in a logical sense. And it follows from this that psychology is only a science as long as its theories are actually testable using the scientific method. So this is why the issue of whether psychology is a science is still a debate because many psychological theories cannot be tested empirically. For example, <coughs> Freud. So just to summarise a few of the main um, major features of science which I have talked about um, in this video, you have here replicability and then you have objectivity, the use of empirical methods and theory construction. So it'd be helpful to remember these when answering questions regarding the scientific method.